through to the 1990s, Canada's government surveilled, harassed, and fired thousands of public servants. I was a child of the 80s, and I was a teenager of the 90s, and I felt compelled to hide my, uh, my orientation and my, my gender the entire time. And it's because of posts like the one that I just linked to, or uh, connected to anyway. It's uh, It was a sad state of affairs for a very long time. But even up into the 90s, if you were queer and in a position working for the Canadian government anyway, you could lose your job. That meant if you were an openly queer teacher, if you're an openly queer librarian, if you're openly queer, I don't know, pick an occupation, we were not safe. It was not safe. And that hurt me. Because it wasn't safe for me to come out. I didn't. So I didn't get to be the real me as a child. And now I get to deal with the consequences of that as an adult. It's a lot harder to establish myself and move forward with the life I want. I have to fight a lot more challenges than I would have otherwise. It's not right, it's not fair, and uh, I think we deserve to be compensated, helped. There are many barriers in front of me getting the treatments and the care that I would like to have so I could live the life I should have had to begin with. It's been stolen from me. And I'm still angry about it. And I should be. All the privileges I've had, I was not allowed the privilege of being myself. And it's because of our government. And our bigoted society. We should have changed this a long time ago. And we should definitely be enforcing those changes now. They should be enshrined. My rights should not be up for debate depending on which province I live in. We need to change the way our society functions. We need to do it now.